Hey guys, um, day two, no power, no update really, um, no work has been done, um, they must see, just trying to fall on trees past the road back, but still no power, they called some crews to come down from Ohio and up from Florida to help out, so... We'll just keep you guys updated. Um, pretty much the food's unthawed. Um, uh, cell phone server tires are still down. So, we'll check back in and keep you guys updated later. Day three, no power yet. Um, we're out here cooking some turkey tacos. Here's Rhonda. Hi, She's gonna be the chef. <laughs> Down in the Dutch yeah. oven. I've already got my chicken broth, my turkey, and so I'm gonna cook it in here. And once it gets fully browned, I'm gonna get my uh, taco seasoning and mix it in here. And then we're gonna have us some turkey taco. So. I wanted to do something different today because Randy has done been cooking for the past two days. So I wanted to take the reins for today. So mm -hmm. All right. we'll update y'all as this goes on. So we'll get back with you. Hey, hey everybody. So here is our update of our turkey taco on grill. So, let me bring our light over here so you can get a good look of it. So, there's that. And, Randy, we bought some tortillas from our food line in the other town because ours didn't have power. So, he put these on the grill as well. So, we are going to eat some turkey taco on the grill. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, we'll give an update um, about... The progress of our power of getting power and once we do we'll notify y'all let y'all know so keep uh just stay posted all right bye guys day four update still no power um they apparently have some crews out now but we still have no power as of right now, no gas stations. No other trees have been cleared in the city. Um, we're still just right up the road right here, tore all the pieces up, rooted. But uh, all the food's gone. Well, yeah, pretty much it just thawed up and it's really not gonna be any good, so we're trying to eat what we can. But, yeah, you can't find no propane anywhere. The fuel's limited because people are actually hoarding the gas, hoarding the propane, and generators. There's a man yesterday went and bought five generators, and he said he's gonna start renting them to people to make money. Taking advantage of people's unfortune, but yeah, we'll update you guys later. What's up, guys? Um, day five. Uh, still no power. Um, they're starting to get a lot of the places around here to be able to get power. Uh, it's been rough. So I'm just thankful everybody's okay. But the report in South Carolina is over one million. I can't remember the exact number, but there's over a million people without power. And they're just doing what they can. They got Multiple states come up and down to help us out. Try to get some power around here. 
<clears throat> we're still cleaning up the breeze. Um, trees are still down everywhere. Homes, got trees in the middle of them. Um, no fueling stations, no restaurants. Um, there's a place, but you have to drive probably about 15, 20 minutes out. If you're lucky to even get down the road, because a lot of our roads are still blocked with trees. Sorry about the yawning, but been rough to sleep. I had to have my CPAP machine and the humidity and everything in the homes just affecting my asthma. Guys, um, we're trying to make it, trying to survive, um, hopefully soon, but we'll update you guys as we go each day. Um, something changes later today, it's just 9.40 right now, but things end up changing and I'll update you guys, and I know this video will be coming out late, but I'm just giving you the full extent of the recovery. Um, it's just waiting it out, really, because that's all you can do. But guys, we'll see you guys in a little while. Y'all be good. Day seven, still no power. It's uh one thirty PM. Um still just waiting. Uh we got more restored but uh we still don't have anything yet. But hopefully soon we're just praying that it'll happen. Soon. But y'all be good. We'll update you as soon as we can. Alright guys, let's try this one more time. Uh for some reason this GoPro is not locking a setting or something in it. I might go in and change, I believe. But I think we may be good. I'm waiting for the 30 second mark just to make sure. Okay. So we have power. Obviously we um, went all week without power. Uh, it came on Friday. Um, unfortunately, Friday slash Saturday, 2 a.m., my dad was rushed in to the emergency room and admitted into the hospital. So it's been a pretty rough two weeks. Um, he had a procedure done on his heart and everything went good. Uh, if you need details, you know, you can check my Facebook out or whatever. But, um, oh, you can just message me. Uh, but he's doing well. He's home resting now. And we're very thankful, very lucky from the storm and for his situation that happened. Um, God is good. Um, we give him all the praise and thanks for keeping us safe there in both situations. Uh, but guys, uh, this was just a little video I wanted to do uh, showing basically what we had to go through with Helena. And it wasn't easy. We lost a lot of food and it was tough. Um, especially living with it with asthma and my dad with a heart condition. 
Uh, but guys, we made it through. We survived. Uh, but we thank you all for your prayers, your thoughts, best wishes, whatever you did. We thank you. Um, we thank the EMS, the nurses, the doctors, everything that took care of my dad. We thank y'all. Thank all the linemen. Um, they don't get thanked enough for what they do. I mean, they really, really had a lot to do here. There's still debris. There's still lines down, but they did what they could. They got everybody up and going. Um, but again, guys, this is a closer and a cutoff. I got to fix this. But guys, thank you. Like, comment subscribe um we would appreciate you joining the channel but as always we'll just catch you guys in the next one be good